Winter is back, folks. This is fantastic. They were calling for a few inches of snow yesterday. We wound up with, I don't know, four or five, and it just, it just kept snowing. It's still snowing. The next day, they weren't even calling for like any snow today, so I don't know what's going on. I, I love how the weatherman's wrong all the time, but I love it either way because we have eight or nine inches total on the ground. Get to try out another setup yet again using the Summit tractor today with a 72-inch rear blade. We didn't attempt at this, but we had so many other problems um, uh, last month, I guess it was in December, that we just didn't get around to doing this uh, exactly how I wanted to. So I wanted to show you today how you can use a rear blade on a gravel driveway. And the key to the whole thing is to use it backwards, right? So you're using the tool in the reverse direction. So not trying to dig down and scrape material, but just letting the weight of the blade itself kind of glide along. So that curved blade is just reversed, okay? 180 degrees facing the other direction. That prevents it from digging down and grabbing that stone and wanting to throw it off of your driveway, which is a huge mess in the spring. And what do you say, Chris? What do you think we had on, on that driveway? Six inches, somewhere in there, something like that. So um, the first bit of snow that we had, depending on the surface, kind of melted down. And if you look at it on some of the equipment and everything else, you'll see eight, nine inches there. But this stuff was wet and just kind of condensed and packed down, but it was doing just what it was supposed to do, just leaving that tiny little skiff on top of most of the gravel. There were a few areas here, it's not perfectly level, but and just kind of riding along and you, easy work, easy job cleaning up the snow. In fact, it's almost done too quickly. I know Chris at one point we went through several drone batteries and he, he was ready to be done. I kind of want to just keep going. And in fact, when we're done with this video, I want to finish off the rest of everything that I have to do. I love moving snow. Now the key to successfully moving snow is traction. And you get traction through a few different things. Number one is weight. You need to have a lot of weight. So that can be accomplished with most machines through additional ballast weight. Rim guard, liquid ballast in the tires like what the Summit tractor has. Getting wheel weights, getting the hitch hangers to put on a quick hitch, and hang suitcase weights, a rear attachment, whatever it is, you gotta have a lot of weight to get that traction and keep on moving along. And I'll tell you, these Goodyear R14 tires, or Goodyear Titan, I should say, um, I've been raving about them for a few years now. I've put them on some of my other machines. The Summit tractor has them on there. And for the smaller tractors, like your John Deere 1025Rs, the Kubota BX, that kind of thing, the Carlisle Versaturfs are a very similar tread pattern, and I also highly recommend those too. So the challenge with having multiple plowing surfaces, like paved surfaces and gravel surfaces, is trying to have the right one tool to do it all. And that can be, well, that can be a lot to ask. Now, if I wasn't being super lazy, I would have put a snow pusher on the front of the summit, uh, like my HLA snow pusher that's got the hard plastic on there, the UHMW, and then tackled my paved driveway with that. But yeah, I guess I kind of wanted to see how it did with this rear blade in reverse. It is a steel edge on there. And um, 
Well, if you have it in reverse like this, it doesn't, it's kind of the same thing as the gravel. It doesn't want to dig right down to that asphalt all that well. And so it leaves just a little skiff on there for the most part, which is really nice. There was a couple times when I wanted to take a pile of snow that I had on that asphalt and then go in reverse and push it back off the drive. And that's when the blade gets right down and scrapes along that asphalt and you can just hear, I, I just hate that sound. I, I just, you know, I just had my driveway resealed and crack filled and everything last year and I, I just, yeah, it's, it's a bad sound. So I've got a big old stick of UHMW, that hard plastic that I'm going to install on this rear blade soon. And typically I don't recommend the UHMW for gravel. I have been using it a little bit on my driveway out here um, on the gravel portion with my HLA snow pusher and it's been holding up well. I haven't had a, a ton of time on it, but I'm gonna do that the rest of the winter too, is keep using the UHMW on that gravel, see how it holds up. I do think it'll wear quicker than steel, no doubt, um, but if you can get away with just that one material, I'm gonna take that material that is safe or safest to use on asphalt and concrete because those are the most expensive to repair and then hopefully use it successfully on gravel too. Now, as far as the rear blade, I think using it in snow shows the versatility of a rear blade too. A lot of folks think about using a rear blade just in dirt work or in the spring, summer, and fall, not in snow. And so this gives you perhaps another reason to justify buying this kind of an attachment. And depending on the size you get is gonna make a difference on the options that are available with it because all rear blades are gonna angle side to side, you know, so you can push material off or pull material from one side to the other. This blade here, the 72 inch, will also pivot. And so you can make the left side higher or the right side higher or whatever you want to do. And then the last thing that the 72 inch blade and the bigger blades that Dirt Dog offers as well is they have an offset ability. So this 72 inch blade is um, well, it's a more challenging offset. You have to unbolt four bolts that hold this plate on to the blade, and then you'll see extra holes in there. You push it over to the side and rebolt it on there. There's going to be some fancier ones that are in the bigger series. Um, they cost more too, but you're going to be able to kind of swing them to the side. And we've shown those before as well, and very nice. Um, they're going to have benefits. I can see that being a benefit in snow removal too, when you don't have to drive over as much of it, you can kind of kick it off further to the side or, well, there was an area on the gravel driveway that had a pretty steep drop off. And I found myself getting caught up in that a little bit there where I almost was going to go off the side. And if I didn't have to get that close and I could reach out there and push it off, that might help a little bit too. So all in all, a successful day moving snow. I'm gonna go out there and finish up, but if you are in the market for a tractor attachment, maybe something like a rear blade, something for your front end loader, whatever it is, we'd love to help you out. We ship attachments all over the country every day of the week. That's what our business is, selling and shipping tractor attachments. So check out goodworkstractors.com. So if you wanna keep up with what's going on around here or going on with our business, we'd love to have you tag along. Hit that subscribe button right down below. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Thank you.